Dividing with decimals. In this video, we'll look at three different types of division problems that involve decimals. A decimal number as the divisor, a decimal number as the dividend, and decimal numbers as the divisor and dividend. We'll start with a problem where the divisor is a decimal. The division problem we'll work through is 36 divided by 0.8. The very first step when we're dividing with decimals is to check to make sure the divisor is a whole number. The divisor is the number that we're dividing by. In this problem, our divisor is not a whole number. It's 0.8. This means we must make our divisor a whole number. In the case of this problem, we can do that by moving the decimal point one place to the right, like this. Doing so turns 8 tenths into 8. Now our divisor is a whole number. There's something we still need to do before solving the problem. We adjusted our divisor by moving the decimal one place to the right. That is, we made it 10 times larger. We must now do the same to our dividend so that we keep the problem balanced. Our dividend currently is 36. If we move the decimal point one place to the right like this, it becomes 360. In other words, we multiplied 36 by 10, just like we did to turn 8 tenths into 8. Now our division problem is balanced, we can work through it. I'm going to rewrite my problem like this, because I'm going to solve it using short division. How many times does 8 go into 3? It doesn't go into 3 so we'll use the next digit as well. How many times does 8 go into 36? 8 goes into 36 four times. We write 4 above the 6. Now, it didn't go evenly. There are 4 left over, so we carry them across by writing a 4 in front of our next digit, which is a 0. How many times does 8 go into 40? It goes evenly 5 times. We write 5 on the line above the 0. 360 divided by 8 equals 45. This means 36 divided by 8 tenths is the same, 45. Now let's move on to a problem where the dividend is a decimal. Our problem is 15.3 divided by 6. First, we need to check that our divisor is a whole number. And we're lucky, it is. Our divisor is 6. We're lucky because that means we don't need to adjust our divisor. And that means we don't need to adjust our dividend, which is 15.3. We can go straight ahead and solve the division problem as we normally would. I'm going to rewrite it like this, so I can solve it using short division. Since 15.3 has a decimal, we'll bring it straight up into our answer. Now we work through our division problem as normal. How many times does 6 go into 15? 6 goes into 15 two times. Write 2 above the 5. It didn't go evenly. We have 3 left over. So we write 3 in front of the 3. How many times does 6 go into 33? 6 goes into 33 five times. 
write 5 above the line after our decimal. 6 didn't fit evenly into 33. There are 3 left over. Now, usually this would be our remainder. However, because we're working with a decimal, we can add a zero without changing the value of our dividend. By adding a zero, we can now take the three left over and place it in front of the zero. Now we can continue. How many sixes in 30? Five. We write five above the zero. And it fits evenly, so we don't have any leftovers that we need to carry over. We're finished. 15.3 divided by 6 is 2.55. Now let's move on to a problem where both the divisor and the dividend are decimals. Here's the question. Do you remember our first step? That's right, we've got to check to make sure our divisor is a whole number. Our divisor is four hundredths, that's not a whole number. We need to change it so it is a whole number. If we move the decimal point two places to the right, that is, we multiply four tenths by 100, we will get a whole number, four. Now, because we adjusted the divisor, we'll need to adjust the dividend by the same. We moved the decimal two places to the right in our divisor. So that means we must move the decimal two places to the right in our dividend. Our dividend of 2.639 becomes 263.9. Our dividend is still a decimal, but remember, that's okay. It just means we need to bring the decimal point up into our answer, like this. And now we can work through it as normal. 4 doesn't go into 2. So we join the 2 and the 6. How many times does 4 go into 26? 6 times and there are two left over. How many times does four go into 23? Five times, with three remaining. How many times does four go into 39? Nine times, with three left over. We won't leave this three as a remainder. Because we're working with a decimal, we can add a zero to the end of our dividend without changing the value. So instead of writing remainder three, we can put the three in front of the zero, so it becomes 30. How many times does four fit into 30? Seven times, with two left over. Again, we have a remainder, but again, we can add a zero to our dividend and keep going. Our two leftovers go in front of the zero, so now we have 20. How many times does four go into 20? Five, and it goes evenly, which means there are no leftovers, which means we've finished. 263.9 divided by four equals 65.975. This means that 2.639 divided by 0 0.04 is the same, 65.975. Before you finish, here are a couple of problems of each to test yourself with. Good luck, and I hope to see you soon for the next lesson. easyteaching.net